All right, y'all. Today we are doing a song I love dearly by Shana Wilson called Press in Your Presence. It was requested by Fletcher Valentine, uh, a longtime subscriber, um, longtime requester. Fletcher, I hope that you're doing well. So uh, just a, a quick peer into my own life, I guess. Um, I had the biggest crush on Shana Wilson, like gigantic crush, uh, to the point where I used to call her my wife. Uh, and then one of my friends thought it would be funny to actually tag her in one of the um, the the posts that I put where she I kept saying she was my wife. She tagged her, and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> on Facebook. Um, and then I actually saw her live in Rochester, New York, and saw her with her husband. It was like, okay, I guess I can't really call her my wife anymore. And she was pregnant at the time and everything. Um, and she's an amazing artist, amazing worshiper. Um, I have loved her from the start, obviously. Uh, I think that her music is beautiful, and it touches a, a good place in my soul. Um, Shana, I am still feeling some type of way, though, that when we were in Rochester, you only had your husband who was playing keys. The rest of the band didn't know your music. Like, you could have just, I was like, hey, call me up there. I'll play bass for you. I know your stuff. Um, but obviously anybody could say that in anywhere and whatever. Um, but I definitely would have backed you up cause I, I love your music and I knew what you sang that night. I knew the progressions and stuff, but that was much earlier in my bass career. So I probably would have got like crazy nervous and been terrible. Anyway, um, the song is in D major, right? And, uh, I'm going to play it pretty much all the way through. I might edit towards the end when I, I'm going to teach you guys that big lick towards the end. That is, let me just tell you, this lick is ridiculous. Um, what he's doing so fast, I can't play it up to speed, but I'll slow it down enough for you guys to catch it and you'll, you'll hear the rhythm of it. Um, but yes, D. So housekeeping stuff first. We're, we're not going to need any incidentals to wait. No, we're not going to need any incidentals. All right. So we're in D, D major. D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? I'm detuned to half step. Um, B string is B flat, E string, E flat, A string, A flat, D string, D flat, G string, G flat. All right, um, obviously this video is recorded the same day as the last one, so don't judge me. I'm not just wearing the same thing. Same place, same time, whatever the case is. All right, so the song starts off like this. Uh. Mm. That's what the keyboard is doing, and then the bass really comes in with this part that the bass is actually playing. I don't have a click track for this, sorry y'all. Um, all right, um, so all the bass is really doing in the intro is just one, two, three, four, four, love that lick. Um, that's it, but the key part, I'll give you the key part because you know I love playing medleys. So, um, five, two, three. Five, two, three, seven, six, seven, one, six, seven, one, again. Five, two, three, five, two, three, seven, six, seven, one, six, seven, one, one, four. Always good when you're in a song that's like this basic, just slide up past the 12th fret to the respective um, number and play the octave up. It's a great uh, effective tool when you're playing something that's this open, this simple. 
um, to make you feel like or seem like you're doing something. Sounds big and professional. Uh, just make sure you slide, you end your slide properly. I obviously wasn't. Mm. Got used to playing my other bass that is not 24 frets, not good. All right, um, so that's the intro, okay? Then you've got the verse. Um, if I could just press, press in your presence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more time. If I could just. I would be home. I still believe. I would just lay right at your feet. I would be home. I still believe. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Then we're right back to the intro. Okay. So what that verse is um is uh. If I could just press one, two, three, four. And it does that three times. One, I advise you to play around with your 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 different octaves, like use your different ranges. I'm gonna then we have this right here. I would be whole six. I still was seven. I would just four. Lay at your five. I would be half six. I would just four. Lay at your five, five, five. Or however many times that part is just going to keep looping. Do it. And then go back to the one. Okay. Now, um, going back to that part real quick, the keyboardist does something in the beginning of that that lets us know there is a substitution uh, option available because he doesn't do the first time. The first time the bass doesn't come in, it's just the keys by himself. And what he does is... You hear the difference? Um, I, I will do it the regular way, the, the way the bass player does it. I would be home. Um, if I could do, uh, yeah, I would be home. I don't believe... I would just lay, lay at your feet. Now what the keyboardist did. I would be whole. I still believe. I would just lay, lay at your feet. Hear the difference? So that was just the three. So he did six, three, four, five. So if you want to switch it up, get interested in whatever, um, just make sure your MD is not going to yell at you. You have a liberal MD or one that understands substitutions. Not like, that's the wrong note. I have had that in my life. I've done some substitutions on purpose, and a keyboardist will look back at me, that's not the right note, it's a five. And I'm like, it was a substitution, dude. I did it on purpose. Um, but I don't argue with MDs. Don't argue with MDs. I just play it the way they want it played. I have learned, I've played long enough to know how, I, whenever I go into a new atmosphere, people think I can't play because I'm listening to try to figure out how you play this song. Um, and sometimes people will overfeed me notes. Like, I'm like, no, I'm good. I got it. I got the song. But they'll keep it because I have this face that I'm like, all right, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because I don't know. We play things differently here at my church. Um, I've learned. And other people approach songs differently and, and whatever the case is. So that's the gem I can give you. All right. Last part of the song. Um, uh, you call me your own. That's it. We're in D, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so ironically, this is what the keyboardist was doing in the first time. Six, three, four. Now, instead of going to the five like we did on the verse, they actually have this little hit. One seven one five. And y'all know I always hammer on them things, so hammer on into one seven one five. All right. Six. 
six. Three. Okay. That pattern is going to be very important for you to understand this lick that I'm about to break down for you guys at turtle speed. Um, I can only play it at 55 BPM and only because I have other things to do with my life. I'm not going to sit here. I wasn't going to sit here and practice it until I got it up to speed um, because I've got other music and other things I need to do. And I want to just get you guys this video. But maybe one day I will because um, the lick is really crazy. All right. So I'm going to pause this video, stop this video, edit this video and give you guys that lick. But it's important for you to remember that six, three four and what would be five but they're just doing that over top of it all right let's do with this lick right <laughs> jesus take the wheel all right it sounds something like this Do that again. Ah, I messed it up that time, sorry. All right, sounds crazy, right? It sounds really cool. It's, he's actually not doing a lot in the first part of it. The, uh, But this, it's pretty crazy. All right, so what it is is, um, remember I told you, you gotta know the six, three, four, five. So where he's placing it, the lick starts, got the six right after the three. Ba, 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 ba. Now the next note is four, right? That's his target note. So what he does, which is crazy. He, he's taking parts of a, a major progression, a uh, major pentatonic. Right? And that's the four right there that he lands on. All right, so he does one, two, uh, one, two, five, six, seven, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I don't have it completely down finger wise. Right, that's it. Okay, two, three, four. Then he's trying to go from the four to the um to the five next. Or really to the ba -da -da -da. So what he does is he does and what that is is to really look at my notes for the, my notes for the notes but of course I'm gonna not do that so it's still a, a pentatonic he's doing six five three two right six five three two five three all right six five four three six five three two five three but the way that he does it, you got to get this da 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 All right, so a triple it, a triple it, a triple it, da 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 All right, so um, six, five, four, three. Oh, sorry, six, five, three, two, five, three, six, five, three, two, five, three. Uh. Uh. Ooh, that doesn't sound like the rest of the lick. Uh oh. Uh oh, yo. I'm crashing and burning on live, live television. Oh. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, so. Um. Okay. So, um, six, five, three, six, five, three, two, five, three. Now I'm looking at it, um, at this point, I'm looking at it. This is a one, six, five. 
but I look at that whole thing as a minor pentatonic, right? That, uh, because I'm looking at this six right here, the shape I'm seeing is a minor pentatonic. One, six. All right, so that's that whole, basically going down this whole thing right here. One, six, right? So, to the five, then. Seven, one, five. All right, so I'm gonna try to do that again with saying it so I don't feel like I did it all the way through. Six, five, three, two, five, three, one, six, five, seven, one, five. Okay, so you have six, 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 three, 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 three. I don't know if I can say all of this. One, two, five, six, seven, two, three, four, six, five, three, two, five, three, one, six, five, seven, one, five. All right, I'll do it one more time. How it should sound without saying it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, sorry. All right, hopefully you got it. And one more time, really slow, sorry. Crazy lick. Crazy. Shane, I don't know who's playing bass on this song, but dude, you are a problem. You are a major problem. I take my hat off to you. Uh, not that you used anything crazy, but what you did was crazy. Y'all have a good one. This is Soul MCA. God bless. Take care. Um, enjoy. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share. Have a good one.